Hey, this is Night Flame, and today, guys, I'm gonna be reviewing The Walking Dead issue 129. Um, it feels like a while since I had, like I read The Walking Dead. It's back though, guys, and let me tell you, I'm excited. So let's start off. So basically, um, this issue we get a, uh, you know, um, we see a, it's basically kind of like in a way, uh, Rick and Carl centric. Uh, we see that Rick, he's been talking to, um, um, well, I forgot his name. Oh, I just forgot his name. Niall? Neil? No, no, no. Um, Negan. Negan, yeah. He was talking to Negan. Negan is, you know, um, stuck in prison. And Rick doesn't really like how Negan talk. you know, he talked to Carl. So he's like, oh, I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to, like, you're going to sit spend your whole life here like a neuter dog because you're I feel like you're losing yourself already and Negan's like you know what I'm going to come out of here and I'm going to be you know more dangerous than ever so yeah he's threatening him and I really do feel like this is a foreshadowing that Negan is really going to come out of jail at one point and he's really going to make Rick's life a living hell so then we got uh, Carl Carl basically you know uh, he's going to go to the I think the mountain to work as a blacksmith and uh, you know that's basically the the whole issue other than the Negan part um, they get in some kind of trouble and uh, basically what they do for the you know in this whole new community Rick has um, kind of a person uh, he kind of has him cover a five mile radius you know to make sure that um, walkers aren't there because it's a trading route so yeah when Rick and Carl were taking that trading route uh, walkers suddenly you know started coming in but uh, Carl and Rick took care of the walkers, and when the guy came, he was like, oh, I'm sorry, they didn't, you know, clear this radius. Uh, Nick, like, Rick snapped, and Rick was crazy, you know. That's why sometimes I really don't like Rick, because he kind of thinks things a little far. Like, um, the guy was legitimate, sorry, but I, I really do get that he could have lost his life. But I don't know, Rick, you know, it's not a leader move to do this, you know. He kind of could have, like, punished him in a different way. So that I really didn't like uh, his part, but I really do understand why he would do that, since his son's life was in danger. Uh, you know, other than that, uh, crazy things happen between Ken and, I forgot his other name, Ken and, um, Marco, Ken and Marco, they're stuck, like, in, um, like, in a place where there's a lot of walkers and they have no horse, and while Mac and her group, um, they just found Negan, and Negan is gonna, you know, Negan is gonna just bring trouble, and God, uh, you know, she, Magna goes to visit him, and Negan is like, "Oh, you, you guys run away from them. You came here to save me from all these crazy animals." So yeah, um, you know, they were having doubts about Rick, and now they're gonna have bigger doubts about Rick. You know, after they he, they hear things from Negan. So yeah, um, I thought this issue was enjoyable. Uh, I really did like it. I just hate Rick, and uh, I really hate how Rick. You know, he's kind of an animal sometimes. And other than that, um, I really want to see a lot of walkers. Uh, I'm dying to see a lot of walkers. And uh, it's been a while, you know, since we had seen walkers. And um, like I said, in this issue, we've seen them, uh, in, like, you know, from a long time. But, yeah, I really did like this issue. And I gave this issue a 9.5 out of 10. And um, that's The Walking Dead. It's 129. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks.